only found native in a zone 450 miles long by 25 miles wide and all below 3,000 feet in altitude, the coastal redwood is a very special tree indeed. Their magnificent beauty can only be experienced along the wild Pacific Ocean, from central California to southern Oregon. Old growth redwoods once covered 2 million acres and now that has been reduced to 100,000. On average, these gentle giants tower over 300 feet tall. These ancient forests we wander in this video are among the last of their kind. For this reason, a variety of mushroom and plant species flourish amidst their vast root systems. Join my adventure to discover the last remaining old growth redwoods. I started the day with a number of treats from my beloved organ, including some jam I whipped up from farm fresh strawberries, which made for a sublime addition to my French toast, and I topped this off with an exciting ride on my brand new folding Craigslist bike. Redwood National Parks have a higher number of biking trails due to its darker history. While most parks restrict biking to major roadways to prevent erosion, there are a number of biking paths in the redwoods utilizing old logging roads. So I was eager to enjoy a nature immersed ride without taking from the ecosystem around me, of course, until things didn't go as planned. With the bike chain jammed and impossible to fix without tools, I hobbled back like a freak, but hey, at least I had wheels. Oh god, oh god. Hey, um, my theory was if you run through the water fast enough, can it soak through your shoes? Not a good theory to test at a time like this. Of course, only once I am very close to where the van is did a park ranger pass by and go, hey, do you need a ride? And I was like, oh, well, I'm at the beginning of the trail. Is it that far? And he's like, you're basically there. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely didn't want to spend my last meal's calories pushing slash coasting slash walking um, this Craigslist bike that I had a lot of faith in. Ah, we we made it. rough start but I thought if there's anything that was gonna set me straight it was gonna be a bike ride those used to always do me good but now I'm saying if there's anything that's gonna set me straight it's gonna be this hike I've been trying to get to for like let's just say four hours to make it nice but I'm finally on the hike there's gonna be lots of ferns apparently ancient ones what's not to love lots of different cool species and also lots of amphibians apparently so basically my heaven Fern Canyon is home to a variety of fern species whose lineage dates back a modest 325 million years. So needless to say, that four hour wait for this hike, worth every second. Wow, look at all these ferns. This is actually magical. It is 
decided that after enough hopping over a bunch of vlogs and doing some serious gymnasium business over these little creek things, they finally gave us some bridges. What a nice day. Oh my god, how pretty. Holy cow, I might not believe. Then they were like, okay, now you can figure it out again. Not so bad, not so bad. All right, can she do it? Should she do it? She's gonna do it. Ooh, ooh. Thank goodness, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of love hikes like this where you're hopping around. Reminds me of creek hopping in Sedona. And you know, it's kind of like the risk makes it fun. Like, ooh, am I gonna soak my shoes for the whole hike? That's why I got, I got a second pair of palladiums in the van. Like, it's the, it's the price of business. It's crazy how good mushrooms are at hiding. Like I'm actively looking for them and I'll like walk somewhere that I had been walking maybe once or twice and I'll see them and I'm like, I've been through here and I was looking for you. Where you been? Holla at me. So I came to the Redwoods, I think when I was 19, on a little road trip, and it was during the government shutdown. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but all the national parks shut down, but I went anyway. <laughs> and I ended up just like parking out front somewhere, walking in, exploring, having a grand old time. I saw salmon swimming up river, plenty of big trees. They were all so beautiful and like starkly colored. This is around January. I'm honestly studying the map of the whole state park redwood system all of that business i've been on quite a few hikes already i have no idea where that was did i like enter an alternate dimension of redwood parks is that what happened Finally, I have found where I came when I was 19. It was the Prairie Creek section of the Redwood State Parks. I had no idea, even driving through it the first time on the way down, never noticed. And then suddenly I <laughs> am on this hike and I go, oh, this is it. <laughs> Thank you. 
see a correlation between number of mushrooms that I see and like the happiness of the trees and the forest because like definitely the mushroom game really strong even in the summer in Washington which I know it's foggier but at the same time like they got some serious old growth up there whereas like down here in the redwoods I haven't seen a whole lot of mushrooms until I kind of got into the more old growth sections and mushroom game be strong again, I'm telling you. With that being said, uh, this is the perfect segue into the mushroom treasure I discovered while camping in the national forest outside the park. I took a small sample as my first foraged mushy delight, which was uh, pretty huge for me and left me pretty ecstatic to start my day. Oh, why hello, good morning. Oh, oh me, I've, I've had a freaking awesome morning. It mainly involved mushrooms and uh, talking about mushrooms and um, trees and that's about all I need. Yeah. <gasps> there you go. Anywho, I did have a really nice morning because I went to the visitor center mainly to see if they had some water and I ended up finding a bunch of botanical placards and I was like, obviously have to take the time to read all of those. So it just kind of started off as one of those mornings where it was like, oh, I release time, I'm just going to exist here. And I ended up wandering into the gift shop and I just started s instant friends with this girl behind the counter. And um, turns out she's from Tucson, Arizona. Always vibing with my zonies in the Pacific Northwest. I asked her about a picture of a mushroom I had that I was pretty sure was chicken in the woods and I was right. Um, and she said, oh, well, there's a massive mycology book right there free to open it up, take pictures. I was like, because now I can tell you a little bit more about the different mushrooms that I'm seeing while I'm on the trail today, which I'm doing the Boy Scout tree trailhead today. It's supposed to be strenuous and like climbing in mud. I, I'm excited. Like that, I use the van handle as a tripod. No, that's the noise we like. I think I like planned on being here for two days and I, I it's almost been five. Yeah, I've just been really like leaning more into the whole slow travel thing. Like definitely just wanting to linger a lot more in certain places and a first mushy of the day. We'll find better specimen, but I think that some guy told me they call that bread's butter or no, no bear's bread, bear's bread. <laughs> a lot to see here. 
I'm not sure which way I want to look. <laughs> I'm gonna recreate what I just experienced. Turn the corner and holy fall. Hello, Autumn. Why, hello there. Look at all this fall business going on here. Mother Nature be like, do you think I care about your pathways? Ask yourself, ask yourself that question. Do you really think I care? The answer would be no. I knew this log would have them. Check it out. Now that's what I was talking about is what the man said was called bear's bread. Apparently they taste awful. This is the mushy log. I walked right past these ones. They're really cute. It's kind of crazy what you can totally miss on the way there that you happen to see on the way back. Here we got a polyp type mushroom, which that's all about. That's about all I know about it. What are these cutie pies? I thought they kind of looked like chanterelles, but I could not be certain. Please let me know your ID in the comments. They said that it was kind of gonna be like a climb to the tree, and this isn't really like a climb, but it's okay. I'm still excited. Thank you so much for taking the time to be happy with me and find some peace out in the wild embrace of mama nature. By all means, you should be subscribing to continue to find a way to nourish your body and your mind through this connection with mama nature. And I cannot wait to continue helping you do so. So by all means, like this video and comment to join me in my mission. Also, please, by all means, leave some mushroom identification in the comments below because, uh, yeah, I have I have no idea what I found that day. But uh yeah, until next time. That bird flew by having this conversation. Another bird. But I could hear his wings flapping. I'm like dang. He's either a big bird or he's just got that big wing energy. Whoa shit. There we go, YouTube. Now you can see how it's really done.